Hi, I am Dr. Raj Shekhar C. Jaka, Consultant Surgical Oncologist and Robotic Surgeon, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield, Bangalore. Today, I will be discussing on very important part of cancer that is prevention of cancer. We all know that cancer is a very dreaded disease, but is there a way to prevent this cancer? Yes, according to World Health Organization, 30 to 40 percent of cancers are preventable. It's a very good news. So, how to go about it? I'll tell you some seven very important steps to prevent this cancer. The most important one is smoking. Smoking causes at least 19 types of cancers. So, if at all we avoid the smoking, then we are avoiding these 19 cancers right from the area where we smoke like mouth cancer, tongue, cheek, esophagus, pancreas, bladder, kidney, so many cancers can be prevented. The second part is alcohol, which can cause 7 to 9 cancers in our body. Moderate intake is okay, but if it is taken in excess, definitely it is going to cause harm to lot of organs in our body. The third most important is physical activity or lifestyle activity. If at all we are very inactive and the body hormones keep on accumulating, body fat keep on accumulating and we will be inviting more and more diseases including cancer. There is a research which has been done and which has proven that at least 4 to 5 cancers which are like prostate cancer, colon cancers are related to inactivity. So that is why I urge at least every day 4 to 5 kilometers of brisk walking should be done which is the most simplest exercise and after that you should be sweating at the end of this exercise only then it is useful. The fourth important factor is obesity. Obesity is also related to breast cancer, colonic cancer, prostate cancer, endometrial cancer. So if at all we avoid this obesity definitely we will be able to prevent many of the cancers. Coming to the fifth point that is genetic. Some cancers, 5 to 10 percent of the cancers are hereditary. Means if a parent who is suffering from this cancer, if they have a mutation in their genes that will be carried on to the children, not all the time but few times. In that case, we suggest these genetic tests and if at all you are carrying those tests, uh, carrying those mutations, then we will be telling you methods to avoid or prevent these cancers before they develop in your body. Now coming to the infections. Some infections are known to cause cancer. For example, human papilloma virus infection and hepatitis B virus infection and H. pylori infection. Very easy to detect these infections. If at all we do upper GI endoscopy, people who have a lot of gastritis, they can undergo upper GI endoscopy and if H. pylori infection is present, that can be treated. Similarly, we have fortunately vaccines for two of the viral infections that is hepatitis B and HPV vaccines. So I urge everyone to take this hepatitis B vaccine and for female in the age group of 9 to 45 to take this HPV vaccine to prevent cervical cancer which is the second most common cancer in India. Coming to the seventh and the last point but most important is food habits. We need to avoid junk food, fast foods and go back to our ancestors who used to take a lot of millets. That is how our body is made to adjust with that food and over a period we have changed unfortunately. So go back to your millets, lot of diseases can be prevented including cancer. Thank you.